Hi, Floss Tube. It's Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 121. If you're new to my channel, this is a channel about cross stitch. I hope you like you, what you see. Subscribe, comment, thumbs up, do all the things. If you're a returning friend, thank you so much for coming back this week. We have a lot of stitching to talk to about. We have a lot of uh, other things to fill you in on. So sit back, get a cup, and let's chill together. So um, as you can see, fresh out of the shower here. So let's hit this. First, I have a correction to make. Um, I want to reshow my bag from Stitching with Grammy. This is the one that I purchased. And this is her card. And the reason is in the comments below from last week, I did say Grammy, but across here, I put the wrong name. And so I wanted to make sure that I properly accredited Grammy. So thank you, Barb, again, for this amazing project bag. So now I can start using it because when I figured out my mix up, mix up last week, thanks to one of you, um, I was like, oh, so thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Um, yes, I am freshly showered and well rested from my Stitch Away event, but I will tell you more about that at the end. So um, one more thing here. Um, I want to, I finally got caught up on my comments, so I'm going to intermix some of the stuff that was asked or whatever in here as we go. So here to start off, thank you so much for the craft room love. Um, I had so many positive comments and um, yes, it is super nice to have my own place that I can make a mess of, shut the door and still make it to work on time and not have like that. Okay, do I have time to pull it all out, cut it, put it away? Um, and, and get to work in time. So yes, that is a very much a blessing for me. And um, I guess it's just the stage of life I'm in because kids have left the house. So, um, all right. So let's jump into a couple things here. Um, I want to remind you that I have happy mail form in the description box below. So please sign that up. Um, if you would like to receive happy mail, it will be going out for January this week, probably toward the end of the week. So if you've caught this by then, get it filled out, you have a chance. <laughs> um, again, in the link below is a buy me a coffee link and um, and a Kofi link. So if you are interested in that, um, I did have a couple this week and I for I'm sorry, I didn't jot them down. So I will, I will give my shout outs next week. I apologize for that. But I will say, and I'm looking, I'll show it to you as I, I dig in. Um, I'll show it to you in a minute. No, I'll show it to you now. I've had requests for these um, that I have and the, my ones are this and this on the back. And, um, I have no problem sharing those. Um, I don't have a place that I, uh, sell stuff at. It's not a thought that I've really had yet. So, um, if you're interested, reach out to me. Basically I said, buy me a coffee. I'm going to send you the email regardless. So there you go. Um, other than that, let's jump into giveaways for my last week. So um, I screenshotted the winners, so I will put the pictures up here. But the winner for the winter cupcake is Tamara. Congratulations, Tamara. And these are packaged up versus being open, but there was three giveaways for the tape measure. And um, that those go to Mary Smith, Rhonda Wise, and it's Kiara, but your name is C H A R. J57. So um, get a hold of me at janajabber at gmail.com with your um, mailing address and I will get those sent out. I think I have your Sierra, Kiara. Um, so yeah, that's that. So what else do I have this week? This week for a giveaway from the box of goodness from Fran is this Festive of Trees Mill Hill kit. So if you've ever been interested in trying one, here's your chance. Just put tree in the bottom. Is your tree down? Is everything cleared out yet? Um, are you in a neck of the woods where the trees are bare? Um, just tree, say tree. <laughs> so other than that, we're gonna jump into some other things and let's do this. My featured friend, this is the last one I have and it's my friend, um, Zan, the crazy band lady. Um, she is sharing with us her Jingle Jolly Joy pattern, pot, putting it up here from Luminous, Arb Luminous Fiber Arts. It, it's on a 28 count Lugana opalescent called Misty. So that is so beautiful. I watched uh, I watched Zan as she uh, built this and got it all completed. So it was a joy. Thank you very much for sharing. And again, if you would like to share a piece of yours at janetjabber at gmail.com, um, I would love to add you to my featured friends list. I love sharing other people's work. So, and speaking of that, I want to get one thing out of the, um, 
no, there's not. All right, I'm moving into my pile. I'm like, got confused. I got something out of the way. All right, so I have finishes for you this week, but not fully finishes for you this week. Um, again, I was at Stitch Away this last weekend, so a lot of stitching time, and um, yeah. <laughs> so I had goals. These I busted out some January goals of finishing um, these littles. I did it all in one weekend instead of spreading it out. So your love for January is Well Hello There by Hands on Design. Um, it is finished stitching, not finished. So here's the stitching on it. Hello, January. These buttons go across the bottom and then it'll be fully finished. Then I have my, the berry for, um, this was in a, a club last year, raspberry from uh, Erica Michaels. It is through the um, Dying to Stitch Club. Sorry. <laughs> this is stitched on, oh wait, that was stitched on a, I'm backtracking a tiny bit. This was on a 32 count, just white. This is on a 36 count berry brew. Um, that was all that was given in the thing. And I stitched it on the called fours. And this is where I'm at on it. So the stitching is done, but um, I'm not gonna put the word raspberry there. I'm gonna get a charm um, and put in there instead of the word raspberry. So I love it. Um, these here, see where they're popping? Those are Samirna crosses. I think I I have no idea how many did. I feel like I did a thousand of them. So um, it made this more time consuming, but I love how it pops. I love the effect. So not hating on that. I actually love it. <laughs> and I still got two more, two more finishes. All right. Um, the well-rounded is on my uh, wheelhouse for this or on my goals for this year. So hands on design, designs, hands on design. Well-rounded, I'm working on the winter ones, and the one I picked, and I am dying over this, is stitched on a 32-count Lugana called Boss Moth by Be Stitch Me. This is called Four Threads. You're going to flip. Look how gorgeous those colors are. I am in love with this fabric. Thank you so much, Brandy, for it just... I. I it's amazing, amazing. So there is that. And the last one is, last one is a stocking um, from the January Blackbird Designs um, by the Chimney with Care. I have this entire set and I just chose, there's three in here if you've never seen this before. I chose Old Anxiety, stitching it on a 32 count limestone Lugana. And there it is, it's perfect. So. Yes, these need finished, and yes, um, I'm going to have to develop a finishing weekend. Okay, sorry for that weird cut, and I don't know, this splice together is going to be horrible, but this little guy is being ornery because, I don't know, a leaf is blowing across the yard. <laughs> I don't know, whatever, we're getting into this. I'm going to try to hold him, and hopefully he's not being a stinker. Look, he even knows he was bad. All right, that is all my finishes for this week. So we're going to move into my cross-stitching. Opie, sit down. So, um... The first one is my queen that I always show you. My Mira queen, my she's my winter queen stitched on a 28 count mystery, uh, not mystery, morning mist by uh, Color and Cotton. Okay, this is becoming a comical show because you see this, this doesn't happen. Oh my gosh, people, sorry. All right, I gotta put him down, he's a big one. All right, let's show, whew. This doesn't usually happen, does it? Um, let's show my queen. This is where she's at. She's kind of hard to see on this weird day. So I'm gonna fold her in half so you can see, basically see those whites coming down? That's what I've been working on. I'm, I need some more blue, so hopefully that's what I'll get into this week because it's a bit much not having, just doing white all the time. So my next one that i want to show you and it has a two part somebody had a question about this and a four screw um yes i'm changing the quote i um will get that sent out to you mary uh the what i think i'm going to use it was given to the idea was given to me by one of you so this is where i'm at on it it's a slow going one i added a couple of trees last night since i've seen you last there's probably been the birds and a couple of trees added so there's that. Again, I need to get better and show you like a before and after. I'm struggling, but I'm getting there. 
Um, and someone asked me how I'm wrangling all those. This is it. I love the floss drops and I just have them all hanging here. I need a piece of jewelry, charmy kind of thing because I use the charms that people put on these um, to give me like my beginning point. But it's a beast. There's a lot of colors here. So yeah, and yeah, <laughs> trying to get it out of the way. I feel we're gonna have a falling of a mess down here later. All right, my next one that I stitched on, little baby boy sitting, settling down, trying to settle down. He doesn't like the comfiness, um, the lack of comfiness. Um, is my pandemic sampler. I'm going to put it here. Um, this is by Sarcy Girl. Um, and this is where I'm at. I put that great big flower motif up here, vase, pot, whatever you want to call it. I love how this is coming together. Again, I modified this one. So I am just pulling um, motifs out of her sampler that I like um, to that and that look good together and those things. So my next piece to show you is my Mill Hill Monday. He's like, do you have trees? Do you have trees well? So this is what it looks like. And this is where I'm at. So I filled in the moon, like I said, and I think I got another color in there besides the white. And uh, so the rest of that moon is beads. So still plugging along at that. Who knows, it could be a finish by the next time, but I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. My next one, last time if you recall, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Last time, if you recall from my Wicked Wednesday, I had a finish that I forgot I finished. So this week, that means I have a start for you for the hands-on designs. Sli um, snail slime is what I'm working on. And basically, I got the banner across the middle of it. This is on a um, 18 count that I dyed myself. <clears throat> oh, I got a frog. One of the things, I've not been sick at all, and I don't still don't think I am sick, but... Um, away at Stitch Away. It was in a old, super old lodge. And um, where is the pattern? And uh, the allergies. I didn't even know I had allergies, but it was a mess. And <clears throat> since I left, they've cleared up. This little cough just happened. But anyway, um, this is uh, by, I'm going to pop a picture of the magazine in here. This is from Punch Needle and Primitive Stitch. Uh, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitch Magazine. This is a Lindy Stitchies Polar um, Bear one. Hopefully I pop that video magazine in. That's if I remember to take the picture. <laughs> all right, so that's all my stitching, but I have a few more questions where people have asked and a few more goodnesses to share. So someone had asked, how do I organize my floss? So I'm gonna put that picture in here of my drawers and then I'm going to show you what I do. So in the drawers are these bags and this is a piece, uh, a square, snack bag, Ziploc baggie. I put a piece of cardstock in it to hold it up straight. In the corner, see it's got the number, and then I just shove what I have in here. And um, you know, they're on floss drops, they're full skeins, there could be some in bobbins from where they're, um, my mom, when they were my mom's. So then these go in the drawer and I just go pull from them. It makes pulling super easy to start a, a new chart or if I just need to go grab something. I have the um that card mine's old and not up to date but that is what i use if i want to like change a color or something i use that as the guide and go to my drawers so i hope that makes sense i hope that helps um the next thing that i have i'm looking down a little bit so if you recall a couple weeks ago i put out that i wanted to learn how to do wool applique so amazing i swear you put stuff out in the universe and it comes to you so I did that and then I got some more information for my Stitch Away retreat that was happening, um, which is an event held by Keepsakes. So that's who you would need to contact if you wanted more information. But um, they had a class being offered by Susan, um, Susan Coates. And this it was a class to learn basic applique. So this is still in the baggie because there's parts in here. So this is what we were making. And um, there was, look, can you see, I practiced stitching loved it and this is what we made it doesn't it's not been stitched it's just been cut out ironed on and ready to go um we were given a full sheet and i decided um to frame it it would fit in an 8 by 10 frame but i'm gonna make a pillow and i picked this piece because of this little area here and then strategically put my little snowman on here so he leaves sewed in and i'll get to that but super cute um that I, 
super cute. No, super awesome that I put it out into the world and it came to me. Super cool. So, um, <clears throat> I sorry about this today, guys. Um, and I did have recommendations for my BAP to either call it a big, amazing project or a big, awesome project. If you remember when I was talking about like how many of each projects I have, I was like, mm. but amazing or awesome, either one of those would work for a BAP, which are my huge ones that went, um, and for a screw that falls into that category because it's huge. So other than that, I have a couple of things I wanted that I received in the mail and my stitch away little bit of haul. So first of all, um, Janelle, this is priceless. <laughs> stitching, um, stitching, stitching, coffee, wine, and stitching time, Janelle made me the hat that she wore all through her Christmas, uh, all through her Flossmas time period. Look at this little guy. I love it. If it's perfect. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, my little guy, what are you doing? <clears throat> all right. And I also received, um, so this is the card that came with it. Thank you very much, Janelle. <clears throat> I received my fabric of the month from Collar and Cotton. Look away if you don't want to see it. And this is January's. So she is on it. I am <clears throat> in the neutral. So this is a 20 count Lugana. Look away. All right. This is what it's called. And basically this is what it looks like. So um, it's very little, but I love it. And um, I'm just trying to build up that count, that threat fabric count. So that's why I switched to that. All right, you can look back. Um, all right, so that is all the stitching I have. That's my fabric of the month. I'm going to talk a little bit about Stitch Away and then my personal um, or plans. I don't really have personal. I, my, my heart is full and my soul is revived from being able to go be with like-minded people. So... Um, yeah, I hope if you have a chance to go to a retreat, go to it. I know it's intimidating. If you've never been there, take the leap. It's amazing. Um, and if you can't get to that, then, um, I am throwing it out there to go sit. If you have an LNS, go sit there or just go sit at like a coffee shop or a library. I'm here to tell you, people will come to you. They will ask you, what are you doing? And you will spark something and create something. Um, I am going to do more of that. I am going to figure out how to get to my local needle shop once a month to sit and stitch. So I will get the date to you for what my plans are, but it's happening because I need, I need you. I need people. I need people. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I did, what I purchased to stitch away and uh, a little bit of what I purchased to stitch away. I put the fabric away. Um, and, um, I'm going to show you real quick what we received, but I don't know if it's available. They didn't say if it was ever going to become released. So I just feel like, I don't, I don't want to rub it. So anyway, the designer for the Stitch Away event was Hello from Liz Matthews. So I re purchased this again, even though I purchased this for myself, even though I already own it in my stash because I received it in a giveaway. So I'm going to give it away to you probably next week. <laughs> this is a butterfly cloche. I had her sign it and I was super excited to meet her. Um, we also got to see, she popped in for just a little bit, um, Sue Hillis. I purchased this one that I'd been, had my eyes on. Someone was stitching this at Christmas time, whether I take it apart and do it like that. Probably. I probably won't do a whole thing, but these are a few of my favorite things. And y'all know that I'm tea drinkers and evidently I need some tea, huh? Because I have this little frog right now, but, um, Lucy Beans tea and box. This was on display because there was a trunk show of this. And, um, this is actually put on a box that she puts her little tea bags in. So cool way to use art and um, functional functionality. So the last thing I'm gonna show you, it's a box that we were given that had goodies in it. Yes, there's like floss drops, a needle minder. Um, I don't remember what else, but <clears throat> I also got this chart signed by Hello from Liz Matthews, as you can see there. And this is it, it's one of her trees. That is keepsakes and <clears throat> if you've ever been to keepsakes 310 is the black cat down there so um very precious very uh they said that was in the works for a long time because stitch away got canceled last year um i also went to they have a special thing a tea for newcomers so i went to a tea and they gave us a little bag to put some of our stuff in so it was a wonderful experience i do encourage you to go if that is something that you're able to do like i said so 
Um, as far as personal stuff, there's really nothing going on. The hubs is back to work, bunkering in for the cold around here. We missed all the snow that so many people got. So I hope everyone is safe and able to dig out. Um, and as far as stitching goes, I am just going to pluck away at some of my stuff. I, uh, I don't know. I don't have any specific thing, uh, as far as like, oh, this is going to be, uh, I'll probably come at you with a, I can think of one that's real close to a finish that I'll probably bring in. So, um, I don't know. We'll see what next week brings with me. So I'm going to get out of here, get this little guy. Um, I guess he just needs extra loves, huh? Or he wanted to be part of this today. So I'm leaving you. So keep stitching, enjoy life. And I'm sending you so much love. Bye.